Hello, this is RBR Production Scan, and I'm going to show you guys another tutorial in Roblox. And this is called the Supreme Door. Basically, you can click a button and it will open and close the door, kind of, kind of with like a sliding kind of animation. So let me show you an example of what we learned today. And I'll open them, close it by itself. Give you enough time to block through and yeah. So we're actually gonna be working with uh the books uh this book's called uh, Roblox Programming Intermediate and it provided us a model to use, but we're gonna actually do all the code ourselves and you can actually make your own model if you understand the process how to. Maybe I might show that some other day. But anyways, um, I'm going to show you the model that we're going to be using, so I'm going to stop this. This right here is the model, and this right here is the URL. You get the model. And I'll also put this URL in the description below, so then you know that you can get the model right away. So let's get back, and let's actually get this started. So I'm going to teach you step by step and what to do. So, go new. Cool. So let me teach you exactly what C frame actually means. So C frame uh, goes to the coordinates of how like a block moves, so the X, Y, and then also Z, you know? So right now I'm moving through like C frame, like you could do C frame, C frame, boom, boom, boom. So anyway, so let's just get rid of that. And I'm gonna get the model that he provided us. So let's close my models and door. Cool. And yeah. So now we got the door down, cool, it's all set up. Got everything, the door one, which is seen right here. I'll show you. Door one, door two. So these are the things that we will be moving, and these are just parts around them. But they, they don't really matter. And then also the door openers, which are the buttons that we're going to be pressing. And it's going to need a click detector so it knows like when the mouse is over it. And the way to get to this is say that you're inserting an object, and right here, click detector. So, yeah, then you just add a script into the opener, because this is all we have to do. So let's start the script. We're going to start with the locals that we're dealing with. So we're dealing with the door one equals script dot parents dot parents dot door one. Okay, so that level is done. So we're also going to do we're going to door two. We're also going to we're going with two sliding doors. So script dot parent dot parent dot door two. Cool. And then we also have to do one more local. Basically, what this local is doing, the next one running, is going to like give the time that it's it's gonna tell you tell the like the script like so it knows when to open the door and when to when to close it. So I'll explain a little bit while I'm writing it. So it's just here. Dot parents dot parents I'll make sure it makes all sense. So, so now we're gonna start with the function. And it's going to be on click. We're going to be clicking to open the door. And now we're going to start with the state, the state value. So we'll go with state. So state dot value equals equals zero. And then say if I were to click it, so when the function starts, it will only. Uh, Complete the function if the state equals zero. So, 
And after that, so after if it equals zero, it'll make the state value equal one. So basically what this means Did I type something wrong? Well, I believe so. Dot value. Yeah, let's move on. Well, I'm going to basically explain this. Thing. So if state equals zero, that's if it's closed. So zero means it's closed. So then when you click it, it'll make it one, which means it's open. Okay. So now let's continue. So for, for i equals one, 15 do. So this is going to repeat it for 15 times. That's what the i does. So we're going to repeat this. And so we're going up into more one. That's the frame. See, we repeat this because we want it to be clean. A clean look, so it has a clean sliding look. Because if we just made it automatically go to its position, it would just look like it disappeared and went into the block instead of a sliding kind of animation. You guys can stand that. So, the door. One. This in. Plus the back door. So then we're going to say it's going to move 0 0.2, uh, comma, 0, because this one can go sliding only in one direction. We don't want it to go in the other direction. Oh my gosh, it's nasty. Okay. So then we also have to do with door two. So we want both these doors to move. So frame equals frame dot move dot door two position minus vector three dot new and the position that we want it to move because we already made up minus and this is plus so it's moving in two different directions um, we're just going to put the same thing so we're going to so it's clean clean look cool and we want it to wait 0 0.0 Zero 0.01, so it also has a clean look, so it moves the door every 0 0.01 second, so it'll move this every time, so every time it repeats itself, it waits this much time. Then we're going to end that, and then we're going to wait two seconds, so then we have time to go into the door and stuff, so we're going to open and close this. So after it waits two seconds, we want to close. So what we're going to write is for i equals 1, 15, 2. So we're going to make it repeat again. And now we're just going to make it close. So it's the opposite, basically. Door 1, C frame equals C frame dot new. So door. Oh my goodness. That's typing. Okay. Dot position. Minus. So instead of a plus now. Right. 
your free dot new 0.2 and then same with this store to C frame C frame dot new well door to position plus Vector three dot new Oh oh my gosh, finally. And then we're also gonna make it wait. So it's clean animation. Zero point two one. And we're gonna end that. So let's move back over here. So now we have to put the state value. So now we have to make, after it's closed, we're going to make the state value equal zero. So that's meaning it's closed. Still wondering why that's like that. I'll fix that after I'm done with the rest of the code. So then after we after that, the last piece of code we need to put down script dot parent dot click detect door dot mouse click connect. On point. Okay, so let's see what's the issue with this. So state dot value confuse a little bit. Let's see. Um Oh, that's why. That's why it's confused. You have to say then. Right there. So then it'll do this. Okay, cool. So that code's good. And for the next opener, it's exactly the same. So all we're going to do is copy this code. And now that we've copied that, we can test it. <coughs> and perfect. It works just fine. So, actually, I kind of want to see, like, with the kind of clean animation, kind of like, just to clarify. So, let's say we actually take this out. I mean, there's a harm the script at all, so we're just saying, like, to see if it doesn't look as clean. I don't know, could, like, not even work, let's see. Yeah, see, like, like, like I said, it doesn't make the animation, it doesn't look clean. It just automatically just goes inside. That's cool, and then I could just show you the clean look again, the difference. Oops, it doesn't seem yep, a lot better. So that's our VR Productions. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial, comment below. And yeah, so like, subscribe, and all that. So it's our VR Productions, and thanks for watching.